There's a pen stuck in there. Hello and welcome to Bulletproof Art. If you don't already know me, my name is Sam and I'm addicted to bullet journaling. If you want new journal inspiration every week, go ahead and hit that shiny red button that's down below to be notified of when I post new videos. Today, I'm going to be doing a flip through of this journal, this nice uh, beefy book here. It's got six, there's a pen stuck in there. It's got six months worth of bullet journaling in here. I'm gonna do a flip through of that for you today. My July plan with me might be a little bit late because I'm trying to transition into this notebook. So bear with me a little bit. It'll probably be out sometime next week or the week after that. Because I'm gonna do two separate videos for the introduction to the book and then the July part. If you're interested, I wanted to share my very first two months of bullet journaling. They're not in that book, they're like separate from everything else. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and leave a comment down below and I'll make a separate video for that. Okay, so without further ado, let's get to it. Right on the inside cover, I have my bullet journal key inside this little pocket, and I created a video on how I made this, so I'll leave a link in the card so you can go check that out for yourself. And then underneath that, I have this little envelope that I keep my pictures in when I'm not using them in my journal at the moment. And here is my Calendex or my yearly overview page. And then it goes straight into January. I have a playlist dedicated to my plan with me's, so I'll leave a link in the card for that as well so that you can go back through and rewatch any of these plan with me's. The next couple of pages I'm going to flip through very quickly because they're just food logs that came with this planner. Um, later on I pasted a dotted paper over that and turned it into my weekly spreads. Here's where you start to see the weekly spreads come alive. This is also when I started my self-care challenge. I will leave a link in the card for the playlist of those as well so you can go back and watch those. Let me know down in the comments if you'd be interested in me doing it again in my new journal. This is one of my favorite pages because it's aesthetically pleasing to me. It's so simple and, and elegant at the same time. March's weekly spreads were some of my favorite to do. I don't know why, but it, I was really like in the zone this month with my weekly spreads. I really love how the professional care page turned out as well. The little tie I made out of scrapbook paper, cardstock stuff. And this page is the page where I created my little shopping tag. I had a ton of fun creating May's cover page and also the mood tracker. The mood tracker took me like three hours to make though it felt like. And this is the point where I kind of stopped using my brain dump page as well. I attempted Dutch doors for the first time and I fell in love, so the next three spreads ended up being different Dutch doors. This one was my favorite out of all of them though.
here's the final month, and you'll notice I sort of kind of started falling off the wagon a little bit. There's not much to this spread, and there's not much to my weekly spreads either. It's all just lines and circles and some squares and a little bit of color here and there, and they're not really much filled in. So I think it's a good thing that I decided to transfer to a different notebook to kind of give me a little bit of a fresh start. I'm just going to flip to the back and show you some of my collections, like my washi tape and all of my pen swatches. And then at the very end, I have this little envelope to hold my recipes, which I spelled incorrectly. That about wraps up this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave those down below. And as always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want new journal inspiration every week. I'll see you guys next time. Stay creative.